Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this, and... She is impressive. Look at that glistening coat. Her tail and that udder. Mm-hmm. We plan to mate her with a champion bull from Bullsville. Hmm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. Uh, for a drink. She is. Look! Mm -hmm. We plan. Mm. There'll be no doubt. Uh, later.
himself. You're in hound in the realm of the dead. What is it, ghost? Some warmth, understanding. Don't fret, I'm joking. I just haunt this place. What's keeping you here? The sole thing capable of overcoming death. Love? <laughs> I didn't know you'd be a romantic. I speak of dice, of course. Is a game worth coming back for? It's a passion, not a game. I know. Made lost fortunes playing poker. Lost my life, too, in a stroke of bad luck. A game? Gladly. Should I toss for you? I'll manage. Leave. How strange! Oh, my back aches. Yet no rain clouds. Batalina sure catches my eye. Gerald? What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you. Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but has killing people become a pleasure for you? I only 
we kill humans in self-defense. <sighs> like the old days. Try as we might, we just can't seem to cull the population of vicious SOBs. I sense we haven't seen the worst of them yet. Be careful. I will. Geralt? How do you like the country? It's wonderful. Wine, women, song and dice through the night. Dice? I've played. Didn't think the game was popular in the provinces. People here go wild for it. It's incredible. I doubt I'll find anyone who's a challenge. Try me. Some say I'm as good at poker as I am at poetry. I'll believe it when I see it. When I'm done with you, you'll be looking for solace among the elves. One of them's not bad, actually. See ya. Geralt? So, what will the new ballad be about? It'll be a masterpiece, in verse. Interesting, horrifying, romantic. And the story? Engaging and straight from life. I changed my mind, see? Poets don't need to embellish. Life is colorful enough. Aim to write about peasants working the fields? Dandelion, I know you better than that. Not as well as you think. You'll see. Fighting or watching? No challengers? Yes? Who 
wants to get cock. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of Bobolak scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him, and knew that sooner or later, someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract. They became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. I've taken Beringer's job, decided to handle this problem myself. Listen, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding. You have no idea how much time it takes. Come back later. Farewell. Get Keepers? Mama and Papa own the inn. Mama won't let me speak to strangers. As a waitress, you have to talk to strangers. Not true. Only regulars visit our inn. Got you there. I'm a stranger. You're Geralt of Rivia. Master Dandelion sang a ballad about you, so I know you. Got me there. How can I help? I'd like to order. 
Wait here. Stay away from our Rosalka switcher. Greetings, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? Any interesting news? A wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time. But he lives in another large hut, so... I'll find it. How can I help? One thing. Yes? You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bow stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not funny. Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. Hmm. No matter. How can I help? One thing. Yes? You must know some interesting stories. Sure. I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago, in a valley far away, lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not? I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, witcher. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen, but fate had other plans. Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witcher. She gained a new family at Caer Moran, the hold of the witchers. She learned to fight, yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. She was a source. The witchers feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher, and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress, learning to love killing. Death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the witcher and the sorceress denied death's calling. Fate cast her to foreign shores, yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. When she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the Witcher and Sorceress, only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the Witcher. The Sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. What's that matter? One thing. Yes?
Get out. How can I help? One thing. Yes? I saw your notice. Ah, I need wyvern eggs for my famous omelets. Here are three. Wonderful. Here's your coin. How? One thing. Yes?
true queen. Look here, our champion cow. 